Well, hello, folks. Welcome to the River Don at Sprotborough, which is in between Doncaster and Rotherham. We're having the most lovely afternoons fishing, catching these lovely things. Not big chub by any means, but just great fish to catch in the winter. Now, today's not been an easy session. These little fellas have been playing hard to get, but I think you can see they're just beautiful fish, lively. Slip him in the net and I'll tell you how I've been catching them. So it's a two pronged attack, basically. It's a Fuka maggot combo today. And I'll tell you why I'm fishing the two, the two baits together when I just unwrap the float from around the rod. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna talk you through the rig. That chub has actually just bent that hook a little bit. <laughs> you can see that. V560, it's just bent it out. So I'm just going to nip that up as we're talking. And then I shall put some more bait on, get back in and hopefully catch another one. That's it, just tweaking back into shape. So, that one we had on a flattened Fuka Neon in white. So all I'm doing is, see there, is squashing a piece nice and flat. And then... Big up on here now, a 14 B560, and then hooking that through the middle. I know the light's starting to drop now, so you might not be able to see that too well, but if you hold it nice and close, hopefully you get the idea. So I've had it feed fishing with that on the hook, cast back out while we're talking. Bit of weed around the line, folks. Underarm cast, nice firm cast, two thirds of the way across the river. But I am loose feeding some maggots, and I have been periodically putting a smaller hook on and trying maggots on the hook as well. And it's been nice, really, because the Fuka Neons have given me the big standout bait, and it's been really tricky. I've not had a bite today until quarter to one, but I've now got eight or nine chub in the net. Only small chub, that one you had there was a good one by comparison. Um, but I think the neons are like a big standout bait, like traditionally you might fish bread. Oh, that looked like a fast bite then. Traditionally you might fish bread, um, but the beauty of Fuka, of course, it stays on the hook a little bit better and it's got the Sensate attracting. But it's a standout bait that fish that maybe don't really want to feed, you can home in on, smash up, grab, and you're going to hook them. And maggots, of course, are good for if the fish do want to feed, which is why I do think it's important to keep some trickling through to try and you know generate a few bites. Let me come in and show you the rig set up. It's nice and simple. You can see there the old Fuka's still on. That's what I like about it. You often get two or three casts out of one piece of bait. We've got one number eight shot there, one dropper. Above that we've got two number eights. It's really important to do that when you're bolo fishing, I think, because it actually means you very rarely tangle because they fly at different rates. So I think it keeps your rig straight in the air and it very rarely wraps over. Then got a three and a half gram Olivet, a little string of number, uh, string of number eights below that, and just a four gram, see if I can drop it down and show you, just a four gram follow. I've just attached that to the line with silicon rubber and that's basically it folks. So I'll cast back out. See if we can catch you one, and I'll give you your weekly fishing forecast. Check that bait, it's all right. It is. It's actually gone a little bit softer, which I, I do like on the second cast. There we are. So, what can you expect if you're heading out on the bank this weekend? I think it's going to be a good one, folks. It's getting milder. It's getting quite a lot milder. It's going to be double figures on Saturday. 10 degrees, it says which I don't think we've seen 10 degrees since December, have we? So that's, uh, that's great news. Just keep in mind, though, the water will still be very, very cold. It was frozen last Saturday when, when I came here for a little recce. So, yeah, just bear in mind, although it might feel warm in the air, the water will still be cold. But rising temperatures are always a good thing when it comes to fishing. So if you're going commercial fishing, start off steady. Definitely start off... Um, in the similar sort of way to I've, I've advised in past weeks with maybe some dobbin or if you're on a, a bigger lake, um, you might want to start on a feed or a waggler out into the open water where the fish are likely to be sat in the middle of the lake. 
if you're going on a natural venue, if it's a uh, river like this, we've not had a lot of rain, have we? So I would expect most places to be clear. The Don's certainly clear today. Um, so you can't expect uh, too much in the way of colour. But again, then rising temperatures, that's always a good thing for big fish. So it could be a great weekend to catch yourself a barbel or a chub. Go out, find out where fish have been caught, because remember, fish, especially at this time of year, tend to show up. So if you can find out areas that have got some form, that gives you your best chance of nailing one. Certainly be uh, picking the brains of your local tackle shop rather than going blind if you're thinking about heading out after a big fish and you don't know any key areas on the river you're going for. And finally, canals. Again, rising temperatures should mean a good weekend for big and small fish to feed. So... You know, don't be afraid of putting a bonus fish line if you're going out this weekend. I think there might well be some skimmers caught on a lot of venues. For roach, again, head for them key cold water areas. I think um, built up areas, towns, uh, boats, I've said it before on this, I'll say it every time in the winter, always seem to hold a lot of fish. So don't be shy about uh, sitting near some cover, sitting near some people, um, boats, bridges, inner city areas, always very, very good. So there you have it, folks. That's your weekly fishing forecast. I've not managed to catch you another one. What I am going to do before we sign off is just give you a little glimpse in the net because it's been really interesting. As I said, I've caught in spurts today. I've caught uh, three fish, I think it was, between one and two o'clock. Bear in mind, I got here at the crack of dawn and never had a bite, really. And I've caught three fish between one and two o'clock. I've caught another three fish between about 3 and about 3.30. And then I've just had a couple of fish now. But it's typical, really, of chub and it's typical of winter in that they don't feed consistently all day. You know, it's been a bit of a tough but rewarding day. But I've quite enjoyed that. It's almost what I expected on a cold day like this. And if I show you what we've got in here... Not a lot, folks, but I think you can agree. If we look down in there, Luke, show them those lovely chub. That's a rewarding winter afternoons fishing. Just focus on it, that's it. It's in focus now. Thank you for watching, folks. If you're heading out, have a lovely weekend. I'm going to slip these back, and I'll see you on the bank very soon.